Good morning, everyone, and uh, welcome to Movement, Mindfulness, and Meditation. Here I am at my mom's. I'm Lisa Breezy, exercise physiologist, wellness heart coach, and founder of State of the Heart Fitness, and I am here in the San Ynez Valley getting ready for a rainstorm. I'm going to be heading back to Santa Monica before that hits, but um, anyway, so I'm glad that you're here. Uh, for movement, mindfulness, and meditation, as you know, 45 minutes of sitting in meditation for the first 10 to 15 minutes, and then some stretch and strengthening, and then getting up and moving our body, and then coming back down for meditation, okay? So, as I always say, make sure you listen to your body, do what feels right, and modify, adjust if you need to, and let's get started and let's have fun. Okay. So get your uh, meditation cushions or whatever you need, and let's go ahead and get this party started. Oops, let's go ahead. Oh, and I have the little, the little, uh, the little light here, or the little lighted up present gift box. Okay, everybody, sitting tall, rub those hands together, feel the heat, the energy in those hands, and then let's just place our hands on our heart, and let's just bow our head down, let's sit tall, draw the shoulder blades together, the heart is forward, and the word is the ultimate silence. Let's just tune into our breathing, into our body. Your spine is tall. Shoulders are relaxed. Turn all of our focus inward and notice your body as you breathe. Breathing through the nose, down deep into the lungs, deep into the heart. those breaths Up and down the center. 
central channel of your being. being aware of the space within your heart. Can you expand your awareness to the space around your heart and around your body? that your heart occupies within space. So expanding our awareness of ourselves. We are born and we want to experience power to infinity. Into the infinity. recognize that our physical body is just one layer of the body of our soul. we put our awareness 
awareness shifts how we see ourselves in the world and the universe. If we just define ourselves within the containment of this physical body, have a different experience of ourselves than if we see ourselves expanded beyond our body. What if who we really are embodies everything? if we just see ourselves as just this, it's like a drop of the ocean just seeing itself as just a drop. But the drop is a part of the ocean. And so are we. Breathe that in. Hold it there for a moment. Feel the energy in your body. Feel it expand to all around you. And exhale. Let's place our hands on our knees. Let's keep our eyes closed and let's start to rotate our head around in a circle. Keeping that back tall. Noticing what you notice as you start to move that body slowly, mindfully. Again, asking yourself, How would I see life differently and others differently? Switch direction. If I shifted my awareness of myself from just the body's perspective to a more expanded of capital S self. How would it shift how you see yourself, life, each other? Good, bring your head back to center. And let's just do some spinal movements, spinal flow. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale, round it up. Exhale, round it out. Just feel the flow. Breathe deep. Keep the eyes closed. So you can really be tuned in. Feel how your body loves the movement. Remember, everything in life is moving, is flowing. Everything is changing, everything is evolving, everything is growing, expanding. Movement equals life. Good, and then let's do some Soupy grinds with your navel, just rotating around in a circle. Imagine you had a spoon and you were just stirring in the bowl of your pelvis, moving. 
Breathing that spine, feeling that effortless flow. And reverse. Breathing deep through the nose. Exhaling through the nose or the mouth. Let's shake out those hands, shake out that energy, let it go over your head, any tension in your body, just shake it out, shake it out, let it go. Let's go ahead and let's take those legs out, make a V, put my little fist over here, okay, toes up, arms up, lengthen that spine, palms up toward the ceiling, bring those toes back. Feel that stretch in the back of those legs, through the spine, all the way through the arms, through the wrists, shoulders down, away from your ears. Take a few deep, slow breaths all the way up and down the spine here. One more deep breath in. Palms facing each other. Exhale, fold to the left foot. Inhale up. Exhale right. Inhale up. Exhale left. Inhale up. Exhale right. Inhale up. Exhale left. Inhale up. Just passing through. Exhale up. Just passing through. Inhale up. For a short time. For a short time. A couple more each side. We are given the opportunity to live as totally One as possible. More.
exhale. Excellent. All right, team. Let's take those arms out. Let's do our shoulder turning of the doorknobs, okay? Working those shoulders forward and back, rotating. Keep the neck relaxed, back is tall. Take some long, slow, deep breaths here. And exhale. Rest your hands on your knees, palms up. And just sit in stillness. Notice what you notice. Notice what you notice. 
peace in your heart. That's what you notice in your body. to you from the people who planted it, cultivated it, grew it, harvested it, transported it, stocked it in the store. All of us are connected. Let us never take our food for granted. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. All right, team. We're going to come on to our back. How are we doing? We're going to do some abdominal work, core work, because we love it, right? So let's go ahead and lie down on our backs. Let's reach those arms up, palms facing each other. Bring those legs 90 degrees. And then knees, hips, arms up. Back is flat. Pull the abdomen in. Take that right arm. Reach over. Left leg extends, dead bug, and hold it 30 seconds. Breathe, powerful breaths. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose or the mouth. But keep that back flat, abs are strong. Lower your leg only to the point that you can keep your back flat. Ten more seconds. And then bring that arm and leg back up. Left arm reaches over, right leg straight up and lower down. Only to the point that you can keep that back flat. Your abs might shake a little bit, that's totally fine. Expected. Breathe deep. Inhale through that nose. Exhale. 
exhale through the nose or the mouth.
And let's go ahead and do some hip circles. Rotate those hips around. Nice are job, you, everybody. Are you coming to the tree? Coming to the I tree. Uh-huh. To say I'm murder free. Strange things will happen here. The stranger wouldn't be. And reverse. Other direction. Are you, are you, are you coming to the tree?
about what happens when we keep our mind and our heart open to life. Yesterday was a very, very magical day for me. Not necessarily just because of the book release, which was huge, huge, huge since I started writing it in 1998. It's amazing to have something into fruition. But here's why life is ongoing and forever evolving and why there's going to be a book four. This one is book one. Because yesterday was pure 
evidence, proof that little miss still is right here guiding things. Yesterday morning I was contacted by a woman here in the San Ynez Valley who I've never met. She didn't even know it was my book release date. She was told by a friend that she needed to reach out to me because she has adopted an orphaned filly who was malnourished and abused. She was born in early May. And my, as a friend of mine who reached out to her and said, you need to reach out to Lisa because she has a similar story. Long story short, the woman lives two miles from here. And yesterday afternoon, I spent the most magical afternoon with this woman and this magical little orphan filly who has trouble with her legs because of the malnourishment, but the love and the sweetness was beyond words. And I felt mist all over the place. And this woman and I were in tears at various moments at the synchronicities that this gift would come to me on the very day, 12-12, 2021 that I would release Mrs. Book. And here was a little filly just like she was coming into this world rescued by a loving heart who is giving her her forever home and wants to, she wants to write a children's story about her. So my mom came to visit as well. And uh, when we got back in the car, Oh, and the woman is from Minnesota. All of the signs, all of the signs were evidence of Miss saying, I'm right here. And the journey continues, whether we are in body or not, we are so much more. So the magic of Miss continues, and that was my day yesterday. I want to thank you all for being a part of it, being a part of my life being a part of the magic and the miracles that are life. Expect miracles. That's what Wayne Dyer used to say. Expect a miracle. Because that's who we all are. Thank you so much, everybody. That concludes our day of movement, mindfulness, and meditation on December 13, 2021. I so appreciate you being here with me on this journey. And uh, I hope you have a fantastic day. And I love you all, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you for your donations and just your love and your prayers and everything. Okay. Have a good day.